Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for the cantilever beam with the uniformly varying load or the triangular load acting throughout the length of the cantilever beam. And also there is a movement of 4 kN meter acting at a distance of 2 meter from the fixed support. So the problem states that find the beam reactions for the beam is shown in the figure. So this movement, if we draw the so free body diagrams it will be like this so this moment is here 4 kN meter at a distance of 2 meter from this fixed support so this moment is acting and it is important to note that how to solve the problem when there is a uniformly varying load and also the moment so in this lecture we are briefly solving this numerical example so the first step will be to find out the pointed or concentrated load acting on this beam. So this is a uniformly varying load or the triangular load. So we have to convert this load into pointed or concentrated load. To do this, we have to find out the area of this triangle. How to find the area of this triangle? Simply by this method, the area is half B into base into height is area of uh, triangle to find out. So half this is 2 plus 3 is 5 meter is the total base multiplying the height is 5 so from this we got 12.5 so this is the 12.5 kilonewton is the load acting at the centroid of this triangle so this is the way how to find out the pointed load or how to convert the distributed load into a pointed load so 12.5 kilonewton is the pointed load acting at the centroid of this triangle now what will be the centroid of this triangle? So it will be from here up to here. It will be, the total is 5 meter, this total length is 5 meter. 2 plus 3 is 5 meter. So this triangle, the midpoint or the centroid of the triangle will be 2 third of 5. So this is the whole length is 5, so it will be 2 third of 5. And this distance will be 1 third of 5. This is the way how to find out the centroid of a triangle. So we are interested in this load, 12.5, and also this moment term, 2 third into 5, which comes out to be, after calculating this, comes out to be 3.33 meter. So the distance from this fixed support up to this centroid load is 3.33 meter. Now let's consider this is fixed support A, and this support will have the vertical reactions, R, A, Y, let's suppose. And this also will have the horizontal reaction RAX and also the moment at point A. Now this component will be equal to zero because this uh, this there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. That's why this component of the fixed support will be equal to zero. There are only vertical loads and the moment acting on the beam. So to find out RAY, it's very easy. Simply, we have to take the summation of vertical forces equal to zero. We can find out by this equilibrium equation. So the whole load acting on this beam is, we find out, is 12.5 kN. So this load will be only supported by this support reaction. If there is no other support, so RAY will be simply equal to the, the load coming on this beam, which is 12.5 kN. So this is a simple way to find out the support reactions. Now what is the moment at point A? To find out the moment at point A, let us assume that moment at point A is equal to the, this 4 kN meter is the moment here. So I simply take this 4 kN and also plus the moment created by this load, which is 12.5 kN and this will also create the moment in the same direction is the 4 kN, so this is taken as 4 plus 4, so this will be also taken as plus 12.5, multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this load up to the point A where we want to find the moment. So it is the 3.33 is the moment arm. Now its so moment at point A will be equal to the 4 plus, if you multiply this value and also adding with the 4, so we will get the total moment at point A and it comes out to be 45.6 kN meter. So this is the total moment at point A. 
we can write it here 45.6 kilonewton meter. So this is the way how to find out the support reactions and the moment and the vertical reactions for the fixed beam when there is a moment and also there is a uniformly varying load. First we want to change this uniformly varying load into pointed load as we did it and then to find out the centroid of the triangle and then uh, we have to find out its support reaction simply by this formula that the vertical reaction will be equal to the total load acting on the beam and the moment at point A will be equal to the, all the moment created on this beam. So one is given to us which is 4 kN meter and the other will be the load, the moment created by this load which is 12.5 into the moment arm. So the whole moment at point A is, comes out to be 45.6. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos.